Okay, welcome to a new episode of Nate's MMA Corner. I'm Nate, and if you watch my show, you're in my corner. Today's episode is a post-fight show for UFC Fight Night. Uh, uh, D. Uh, Randomy versus Lad. Uh, women's Bantamweight Clash, main event. And uh, this is a yeah post-fight rundown of the main card. I'll make it quick. So, to kick off the main card in the middleweight division, we had Marvin Vittori versus Cesar Fajeda. And, uh, yeah... This one, I was pretty much spot on. Marvin won by decision, unanimous. Um, you know, uh, yeah, I might have said split decision. I forget on the pre-fight, but yeah. Marvin wins by uh, decision here, and it was pretty much a stand-up war, which is pretty much what I expected it to be. But um, yeah, Marvin looked good and mixed things up. And this was a win. He needed this win coming off that Israel loss to really uh, keep his name out there. And Cesar is a tough, durable veteran in the UFC, so this is no um, small feat. And I think Marvin deserves a top 15 guy in his uh, next matchup. Anyhow, and then in the uh, also in the middleweight division, we had Carl Robertson versus Wellington Terman. This one, I was also uh, right on who won. Carl Robertson won by split decision. However, I thought there was going to be a knockout here. I, I think uh, I think I said round two, so I was off on that one. But right on who won, and Carl Robertson did his thing and uh, looked pretty good. Uh, I don't see how it was a split decision. I think this should have been unanimous. I, I had him winning at least two, if not all three rounds. Uh, but good win for Carl Robertson. Um, uh, Tuesday Night Contender Series uh, veteran. Um, anyways... Yeah, great fight. Then in the featherweight division, we had Josh Emmett versus Mursad uh, Bektik. And uh, I think I said that one right. Anyhow, uh, Josh Emmett won TKO punches uh, round one. I was not expecting it to be this quick. Uh, this was a pleasant surprise. And also, uh, yeah, Josh, you know, again, on my pre-fight, I, I, I thought this was a close fight on paper. Um, yeah, Josh is, um, you know, I, I said he was a 51% chance of winning this fight, and he won, and he made it look easy, which is even more impressive, because Mursad's no slouch, and he made it look easy taking him out in the first round. So, good job, Josh. Definitely deserves um, a top 10 guy, if not um, a top maybe 11 guy in um, his next fight. Then in the Bantamweight division, we had Araya Faber versus Ricky Simone. This one, wow, 46 second knockout win for Araya Faber. Faber is back as far as I'm concerned. Because, I mean, Ricky Simone, man, the guy was dominating the UFC. He dominated LFA. And he just, he looked great um, throughout his career. And Ricky Simone, I mean, you know, just, uh, yeah, big wins all around his career. And Ricky Simone's just been. Blasting through the competition, getting landing takedowns, heavy shots on all his opponents in the UFC. And then it goes up against 40-year-old uh, Uriah Faber. And, you know, on my pre-fight, this one I got wrong. Um, you know, uh, Uriah Faber uh, won. Um, TKO punches round one, uh, 46 seconds. Great win for Uriah, for Uriah Faber. Great to see him back. And I think... Um, you know, uh, maybe have him fight one or two more times and then give him a title shot unless there's no one around for to fight for the belt, you know, because, you know, everyone's busy or injured. Then I could see you throwing him in a title fight against um, Henry Cejudo. Anyhow, a uh, great win for Uriah Faber. Then in the women's bantamweight division, we had uh, Jermaine, versus, Jermaine de Radamy versus Aspen Ladd. Uh, yeah, TKO punches, uh, round one, 16-second win for Jermaine. Honestly, I still think the fight was stopped too early. I mean, I watched the replay over and over again. I think um, Jermaine still probably would have won, but you got to give Aspen just a little bit more of a chance to get back in there. Um, I, I, I think the, the uh, Herb Dean could have let.